What you up here for? Just call for back. I'm going to have to do it like God give me. I, I appreciate your back. You, I'll tell you what. If you go on back and give me that stick, you, you I call for cancer, not backache. Give me that stick. Now go on, sit down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thought you couldn't walk out the stick. Oh, excuse me. I thought you had to have the stick to walk. Oh, I saw a church. That was a man. They came in there to meet, came in there. He was going to take me out to dinner. I told my son, take me out the side door. The first clue to me that I didn't need him, he said, what you get and what I get, we can live good. I said to him when he called me, I said, my husband takes better care of that and in the grave than you can take care of me. Teach them how to witness. Teach them how to keep a man a clean bed. Amen. Teach them how to look decently and in order for their husbands. Amen. Teach them. You don't have to teach them how to make quilts. They can go buy one. But you can also teach them how to act when they get under one. That's needed. That's needed. Where are they going to get it? In the street? You don't want them to get that information out of the nightclub. Have groups to get together and teach them. You women who have had husbands 30, 40, and 50 years have been successful. Some of us couldn't do. And you did it. Tell them how to keep him. Tell them how to wash his back when he's in the tub. Tell them how to hand him the towel. Amen. Tell him how to take a, 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 a fella and wake him up in the morning. Tell him how to whisper in his ear. Tell him how to take your fingernails and just carry him over his body slightly. Make him leap through. Oh, good God Almighty. Tell him how to tell that booger you can make him peep through muddy water and spot dry land if you know how to do it. Well, 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 well. Worry when they don't have money. Men worry when they can't take care of you. Real men. Real men. Real men pay the bills. Real men put the clothes on your back. Real men take care of you. Sister, sister, don't marry no breath and britches. Get you a
hands in. Vamos let her do it. Now you take notice from here. <laughs> Our young people. I don't, and some of them ain't all that young, honey. Some of them be 40 and 45 coming into church. We don't send nothing to them anymore. How come? You're going to let them come in with their dress way up here and they weigh 210 and that great big. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I want you to know ain't nobody attractive with that big hunk of meat on the inside of your knee. That ain't pretty to nobody, that big old hunk of meat inside. And if you skin it, that little bone stick it out. Don't nobody like that. Ain't no man turned on with that. So why show it? Don't nobody want to no, cover that stuff up, baby. I don't have nothing to get. I don't care what size you are. That's beauty in 100 pounds or 300 pounds, but salt it down like God would have you to do it. Cover your backside up, sugar. Who that will blow his mind. Listen, if you've got a good man, if he doesn't bring you candy on Valentine's Day or flowers on your birthday, but if he brings that paycheck home every week, that's a good man. Love your husbands. The Bible tells us to love when we have a good man. Now, if he's abusing you and mistreating you and physically abusing you, the Holy Ghost will also give you when to pack your bags and move out. But if you've got a good man, sometimes unsaved men are good men. And if you just live the life, the sanctified wife will sanctify the husband. Ladies, when he's in the shower, go in the shower, get in the shower and wash his black. I tell you, it'll work. It'll work. He'll empty out his pocketbook, he'll empty out his pockets and give you everything he's got. I'm talking about the power of the Holy Ghost. Many things we don't know. We, we get married as young women and we don't know how to be wise. But the Holy Ghost, I'm, I was married for 57 years and many years ago, the Holy Ghost told me, go in and wash his back. If they ain't going to live right, if they're going to have sex before marriage, which is totally all wrong, but we did it, but we don't magnify it. We teach against it, but girlfriend, if you're not going to live right, if you go lay down with brother boy, have sense enough to make that nappy head booger stop by Walgreens. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't care. I know it's the truth. Because all of them ain't going to live holy. Much as you teach it, but at least have sense enough 
to do what is necessary to keep yourself out of certain positions. I don't condone it, but I'm trying to prevent some stuff that you would have to go through later. That's all. If you can't see, he'll have to want it. You ain't gonna go to hell because you got pretty legs and we ain't. But it'll help somebody else go if they can see him and stuff. You cover your stuff up. If a man want to go bear hunting, he'll wait all night for it. But he won't even go outdoors for a cat because there's too many of them.